my name is Random Tuesday, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I whipped together. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist my whip for my Megara cosplay. <laughs> All right, let's get cracking. The base of the whip is a 10 inch section of half inch PVC pipe. To start with, I marked off the various sections of the whip design along the PVC pipe. For the tapered section of the handle, I started by creating a base out of layers of EVA foam, two millimeter foam sort of stacked up to create an initial taper. Then I used foam clay over the top of that and smoothed it out to, to create the tapered handle. Lastly, once the foam clay was dry, I then sanded it down using a fine grit sandpaper to a smooth finish. I then covered the foam section in pleather by creating a tube that was the same size as the tapered section, flipping it inside out and slipping it over that section. I secured it in place by trimming down the edges, tucking them in and hot gluing them into place. Lastly, I finished decorating the handle by using some plaid FX paint to just dry brush over the top of it and add a little bit more dimension to the pleather. To create the whip portion of the whip, I started with bright pink paracord. It's the 750 thickness and you did about 25 feet of it. And I then braided that using just a normal three strand braid, but I double stranded each of them. So a three strand, six strand braid. Then to attach it to the handle, I stitched the ends of it together and wrapped those ends in a little bit of EVA foam to make it a really snug fit on the inside of that PVC pipe. I then used contact cement and glued it directly into the inside of the PVC pipe. I created all three of the brass ring sections in the same way. For each section, I cut two donut rings with an outer beveled edge. After cutting, I glued the rings together with the bevels on the outside and then smoothed the edges using my Dremel. I finished each of the rings off by covering them in Warbla's black art for a smoother finish than regular Warbla would give. For the top ring, I used five millimeter EVA foam and for the middle and bottom ring, I used 10 millimeter EVA foam. For painting, I painted the middle ring before I attached it to the handle. I primed it first using Roscoe Flex Bond and then painted it using Plaid FX paints. The first was a brown base coat and then several layers of gold, specifically the gold coin color, followed by some copper along the edges that I dry brushed on for some darker shading and a little bit more dimension and a small amount of the lighter gold, golden hour for some highlights. After it was dry, I glued the middle ring in place using contact cement and then I glued the top ring in place before I primed or painted it and used some little bit of extra warbla to close the gap around the paracord. I then primed and painted the top ring as well as that top section of the handle using the same techniques and colors as before. So flex bond for this primer and plaid effects for the paints. The black section was plaid effects metallic black and the bright pink section I used a base coat of white followed by neon pink and metallic red over the top. I created the pommel entirely as a separate piece. I started by sculpting the egg bottom section out of foam clay, and after it was dry, I covered it in a lovely little warbler sandwich. I then added a ring of EVA foam that I also covered in warbler at the base of that egg, and I used the adhesive part of the warbler to attach both of these parts directly to the ring section that I had made previously, like the top two ring sections. I then primed and painted the whole of the pommel using the same color gold and some metallic blues. It was much easier to paint all of this as its own separate piece from the rest of the whip, so I strongly recommend completing this section in its entirety before you attach it. After, I then attached it in the same way using contact cement right at the base of the PVC pipe. The last section was to seal all of the painted portions. I used Mod Podge gloss spray to seal and add a little bit of extra shine and gloss dimension. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what other videos, tutorials, or information you would like about my Megra cosplay or anything else related to cosplay or I don't know, whatever. Uh, and as always, you can check me out live on twitch.tv slash random Tuesday, or you can uh, head over to my website, randomtuesday.com, where I've got tutorials, links, videos, all sorts of good stuff. And of course, don't forget to do that YouTube like and subscribe -y goodness. And lastly, and never leastly, thank you to each and every one of my patrons over on Patreon who made this whip, this cosplay, and this video a reality. If you're able to do so, any monthly amount is truly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.